Good evening and welcome to the daily market update. The DSCX slipped back to the red zone as it lost 4.11 points or 0.07 percent and settled at 6,230 points. Mega turnover was BDT 5.49 billion, which is an increase of 48.25 percent compared to the last trading day. Rupali Life Insurance and Meghna Life Insurance from the insurance sector, Emerald Oil, Olympic Industries and Fu Wang Food from the food and light sector, Crown Cement and Heidelberg Cement from the cement sector mainly dragged down the market today. In terms of sector-wise return, the IT sector posted the highest gain of 0.33%, while the fuel and power sector registered the second highest gain of 0.12%. On the other hand, the tannery sector posted the highest loss of 1.32% today. Four food and light companies, four industrial companies and four textile companies were among the top 20 losers today. GQ Bullpen Industries, Dominate Steel Building Systems and Generation Next Fashions registered the highest gain while Emerald Oil Industries, Kohinoor Chemicals and ZL Bangla Sugar Mills were the top losers today. Kohinoor Chemicals fell in value today as they resumed their trading today after a record date. The value of Emerald Oil Industries fell as they will be trading in the spot market from the next trading day. There is no publicly disclosed price-sensitive information for the price change of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of Zahintex Industries, Indo-Bangla Pharmaceuticals and Summit Power increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. The volume of Summit Power increased significantly today as they resumed production in three of its power plants. There is no publicly disclosed material reason for the volume increase of the remaining stocks. Today's top two news. Construction costs in Bangladesh dropped for the second consecutive month as the Building Materials Price Index, BMPI, dropped by 0.09% to 6.62% in October. According to the experts, the drop is mainly due to the fall in market demand owing to the persisting high inflation and political unrest. However, the price might go up once the post-construction work starts again. The World Bank is likely to provide around USD 1.1 billion to Bangladesh according to the five recent signed agreements. The amount will be provided in order to implement five projects regarding childhood development, education, climate and health care for the sustainable development of Bangladesh. That's all for today. We will be back again tomorrow with more updates on Dhaka Stock Exchange. Follow LR Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.